Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter sets Martian altitude record. Assembly of Lilium Jet fuselages underway. And Skydio to launch X-10 Enterprise drone model. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. NASA's Ingenuity Helicopter Sets Martian Altitude Record NASA's Ingenuity helicopter, while executing a September 16th sortie, broke its own Martian altitude record, ascending 66 feet above Mars's surface. This was the 59th flight, and the craft is well into its 31st month on the Red Planet. A representative of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory set forth in a September 19th ex-posting, quote, Ingenuity has set a new record. The Mars helicopter successfully completed Flight 59, flying its highest altitude yet, 20 meters. The rotorcraft was in the air for 142.59 seconds, end quote. Flight 59 comprised a hover exclusively. Ingenuity covered zero horizontal distance. Over the aggregate entirety of its Martian flights, Ingenuity has traveled a total of 43,652 feet, or 7.18 nautical miles, and remained aloft for 1 hour, 46 minutes, and 30 seconds, so states the machine's flight log. Prior to its 59th flight, Ingenuity's highest altitude was recorded at 59 feet AGL. To date, the helicopter's single flight distance and duration record stand at 2,310 feet and 169.5 seconds, set in April 2022 and August 2021, respectively. NASA's diminutive robotic Ingenuity helicopter was conveyed to the red planet slung to the underside of its more famous counterpart, the Perseverance rover. The two machines arrived on Mars February 18, 2021, after a seven-month space flight from Florida's Cape Canaveral. Coming up after the break, Boeing and Red 6 complete first augmented reality test flight. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Boeing and Red 6 complete first augmented reality test flight. Boeing and Red 6 have successfully integrated and flown an augmented reality system in a TA-4J tactical aircraft. The achievement heralds the system's integration and testing in Boeing's T-7 advanced trainer. In September 2022, Boeing and Red 6 announced their intention to integrate the latter concerns advanced tactical augmented reality system and augmented reality command and analytic data environment into fighter aircraft. Rain raises $9.7 million in seed financing. Rain has announced an oversubscribed seed round, closing $9.7 million in financing to provide fire agencies prepositioned autonomous aircraft with which to contain wildfires before the blazes rage out of control. Founded in 2019, Rain leveraged fire agency insights and first-person experience with wildfires to create the world's first autonomous rapid wildfire suppression system. The platform, an autonomous rotorcraft resembling a whitewashed two-thirds scale Schweizer 300 helicopter, addresses the urgent need to scale, expedite, and modernize response to the growing number of wildfires. GAASI to be inducted into International Air and Space Hall of Fame. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, Inc. will be inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame during a Saturday, October 21, 2023 event at the San Diego Air and Space Museum. The induction honors GAASI's celebrated history of developing and implementing UAS by which worldwide security and defense objectives had been met for more than three decades. 
Based in Poway, California, GAASI is renowned for its advanced, remotely piloted aircraft systems, particularly the Predator series. U.S. Customs and Border Protection acquires 106 Teal II UAS. Red Cat holding subsidiary Teal Drones has signed a $1.8 million contract with U.S. Customs and Border Protection, by which the Salt Lake City, Utah drone maker will provide Teal II UAS to the U.S. Border Patrol. Over the contract's lifetime, Teal will deliver 106 of its Teal II drones, plus spare parts and training germane to such to the Hamstrung Agency. The quadcopter drones will afford the U.S. Border Patrol supplemental airborne reconnaissance, surveillance, and tracking capabilities. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Assembly of Lilium Jet Fuselages Underway Lilium GmbH has commenced assembling fuselages for its Lilium Jet, an EVTOL personal air vehicle the company asserts remains on track for a late 2024 maiden flight. Fuselage assembly instantiates a tangible manifestation of Lilium's ability to see its planned EVTOL proceed from conceptualization to actualization. The fuselage currently under construction is the first of seven such structures salient to the near-term assemblies of seven flight test and certification iterations of the Lilium jet. Lilium COO Yves Yemzi stated, quote, We're delighted to kick off assembly of the first Lilium jet fuselage at Asatori, bringing us one step closer to reshaping sustainable regional air mobility. We see this as further evidence that our approach of teaming with proven aerospace suppliers to bring our cutting-edge EVTOL aircraft to market is the optimal strategy as we advance along a path to certification and entry into service of the Lilium jet, end quote. The Lilium Jet fuselage was developed in collaboration with and is being built by Tier 1 aerospace supplier and Lilium strategic partner Asatori at the latter's facilities in Valladolid, Spain. The fuselage is slated for delivery to Lilium's Vessling, Germany facility in 2023's fourth quarter, where assembly of the first Lilium Jet will be completed ostensibly prior to year's end. And after these messages, Skydio to launch X-10 Enterprise drone model. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Skydio to launch X-10 Enterprise Drone Model. Skydio has debuted its latest enterprise drone, the Skydio X-10, a model embodying an eminently useful synthesis of cutting-edge data capture cameras, autonomy, and versatile hardware conducive to applications within the defense, energy, public safety, transportation, construction, and communication sectors. The Skydio X-10's features include 1. A 48-megapixel zoom camera capable of reading automotive license plates at over a distance of 800 feet, a 50-megapixel wide field of view camera, and a 640x512 Teledyne FLIR Boson Plus radiometric thermal camera. 2. An open and modular airframe designed for durability, versatility, and adaptability. The X-10's airframe features four payload bays, replaceable gimbal sensor packages, and an IP55 weather resistance rating. 3. Skydio's Connect solution, which offers users a redesigned point-to-point -point link, a multi-band radio capable of functioning in congested and jammed environments, and a 5G radio for a limitless range within areas covered by cellular service. 4. Onboard AI-powered autonomy, incorporating tenfold improvements in computation power and custom-designed navigation cameras, featuring optical fidelity ten times better than previous camera generations. 5. Skydio's all-new NightSense technology, which facilitates autonomous flight in zero-light environments, and the all-new X-10 Spatial AI engine, which enables real-time environment mapping and fully automated modeling via 3D scan and onboard modeling. And 6. Backpack portability and deployment in fewer than 40 seconds. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.